Hi, my name is Amy Muta, and I teach 9th and 10th English language arts. So seven years ago, I moved here from Idaho, and I have been lucky enough to be at Cambridge for the past four years, and I couldn't imagine teaching at any other school. Go Bears! So when I'm not busy helping coach cross country, I love to spend time with my three kids and my four dogs and my two guinea pigs. I love to hike and bike and read, you know, all that fun stuff. So this year I'm really lucky because I get to co-teach first and second period with Miss Pinsky. We have a ninth, two ninth grade classes. And then my third period, I have another ninth grade class my fourth period is a 10th grade class. And then my seventh period, I'm lucky as well to co-teach with Miss Lee, which this is our second year co-teaching together. So it should be fun again. So I'm pretty simple. I have two expectations in my class. One of them is respect. Because in an English language arts class, you are sharing. You're sharing personal experiences, they're connecting their lives with the, with the novels that we're reading at the time. They're trying to tie it all together with literary terms that they, they're not familiar with. So it's kind of a lot. So I always ask that the students respect each other while they're sharing. And they're trying to all figure this out at the same time. So my other expectation is that they come to class with a charged device. That is pretty pretty important. It's funny because they'll have their phones be charged. Their phones are all ready to go, but their devices aren't. So I, maybe parents, you could help me out with that one. But another thing I do encourage the kids is I try to have them be positive. And it can be tricky being in high school. I mean, it's a tough time. And then we're in the middle of a pandemic still, and we're all wearing masks. So it can be kind of daunting. But I try to encourage them to be as positive as they can. But I'm gonna tell you, I have been so thrilled to have the hustle and the bustle of all of the students being back in the building. And I am, you can tell that they're happy to be there, even despite the fact we're wearing masks still. So thank you parents for trusting us and having your kids at school. And please know that you can reach out to me uh, my email is m-u-t-a-a -A at fultonschools.org. So please feel free to contact me at any time. And once again, thank you. I am so excited to spend time with your kids this year. Bye-bye.